So many apps, a payment app here, a credit monitoring app there. Before you know it, there's an entire finance folder on your home screen. Mobile banking is advancing by the minute and knowing how to use it can be overwhelming, especially for people managing busy family lives. Busy mom and budgeting expert Andrea Warrock is here joining us today, telling us, giving us a crash course in digital banking and helping us maximize mo mobile financial tools to save time and money in 2023. Andrea, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on YC. Yes, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm definitely excited to dig into this topic. Yeah, it's a topic that not a lot of people want to talk about, but we all need to talk about. Um, there's so many different apps out there that can really be overwhelming. What are some of the top features consumers should try and take advantage of? I definitely know that managing your money can be overwhelming. And then if you start trying to use multiple different apps, it becomes even more confusing. So whatever goal you set for yourself this year, you really don't have to look any further than your own mobile banking app. I don't know if people realize how many amazing features they offer to help you plan for savings, maybe pay down debt, plan for a big purchase. And so of course you can do things like deposit a check through your app, check balances, maybe send money to family and friends. But beyond that, there are so many other great features to look out for, like the ability to check and monitor your credit score, the ability to set automatic savings to plan for a big purchase. Uh, also, you can even find discounts at favorite retailers, maybe even book travel through the app. So essentially, it becomes this one hub to manage your money all in one place. And that just simplifies things for people and takes the overwhelm out of managing and improving your finances. It's such great information, things that people may not know that they have access to. Um, no one likes to talk about the big B word, budgeting, but uh, more people are trying to do that in 2023. What are some things we can do to efficiently manage our financial activities? I think you're right. A lot of people are scared of budgets. They're overwhelmed by the process of creating and sticking to one. Plus, they sometimes feel like, oh, a budget's going to restrict me and not allow me to do the things I enjoy doing. The reality is setting a budget is a really important step to be able to do the things you want to do. It will help you plan and save for a vacation and all those other activities you want to do this year, whether it's going to a concert or just the day to day fun things you want to do with your kids and using digital tools can take some of the overwhelm out of the process of setting and sticking to that budget. And a good example is the Chase mobile app. They offer a budget feature, which is so cool because it allows you to really pay attention to where every dollar goes. It shows you your spending habits based on your actual posted transactions. And this way you can make better spending and buying decisions. So you're not overspending and you're still reaching those goals you've created for yourself. They also have a cool auto save feature which allows you to plan for those bigger activities you have coming up. And if you don't have a similar feature in your own mobile banking app, then a budget worksheet would essentially do the same thing. You can list out all your expenses, your goals, and make sure you're not going overboard any month. And Chase has actually a free budget worksheet you can download, and that's available at chase.com backslash financial goals. So Andrea, if you had to look into your financial crystal ball and talk about the future of digital banking, what does that look like? We're definitely seeing a lot more people using it for their daily financial activities. So everything from depositing checks, making digital payments, maybe even booking travel, more people are using their digital banking apps for that. And in fact, Chase recently released their third annual digital banking attitude study, which found this. They found that two in three consumers say they can't live without their mobile banking apps. They found that 82% of consumers are using digital payments once a month over or, or just around half of consumers are usually digital, um, making digital payments once a week using their apps. And so I definitely think that more people are gonna adopt this in their everyday life and they're gonna be doing more sophisticated financial activities like applying for mortgages and car loans all through their app. So, you know, it's gonna make life a lot easier. A lot of big goals coming up in 2023. People are really looking forward to that and saving money is on that list as well. So any other digital tools that people can use to save on activities in uh, the new year and uh, where can people go to find out more information? 
Yeah, so really quickly, take advantage of any payment plan options that allow you to manage big costs over time so you don't feel strapped for cash and then miss out on other goals that you set for yourself. And also keep on top of your credit score. Take advantage of those credit monitoring tools. And you can find out more about the Chase mobile app at chase.com backslash mobile. Andrea, thank you so much. Everyone should have a, a budgeting friend like Andrea. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much.